okay <coughs> good evening and good morning now we can start our session as we usually start you all can join with us to chant metta sutta may all beings be happy and secure may all beings have happy minds whatever living beings there may be without exception weak or strong long large medium short subtle or gross visible or invisible living near or far born or coming to birth may all beings have happy minds let no one deceive another no despise anyone anywhere neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another as a mother would risk on life to protect her only child even so to us all living beings one should cultivate a boundless heart one should cultivate for all the world a heart of boundless loving friendliness above below and all around unstructured without hatred or resentment whether standing walking or sitting lying down or when moving one should develop this mindfulness this is called divinely dwelling here not falling into erroneous views but virtuous and endowed with vision removing desire for sensual pleasures one comes never again to birth in the womb sadhu 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 have a comfortable seat keep your body upright take a deep and long breath and let it go slowly be relax again take a deep and long breath and let it go slowly be relax your mind is relaxing also the body cut up the whole world come into this moment present present moment is peaceful no worries no troubles no matters enjoy this peace and happiness you feel the whole body is relaxing your mind full with joy determine this is my meditation time also develop your courage to continue your practice you can scan your whole body through your mind scanning whole body through your mind generate loving friendliness thoughts toward yourself may i be well happy and peaceful may i be well happy and peaceful may i be well happy and peaceful you feel met the thoughts it yourself
you can extend this metta with others as I am, my family members, friends, relatives and neighbors, be well, happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives and neighbors, be well, happy and peaceful. My family members, friends, relatives, and neighbors, be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in this country, May they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy, and peaceful.
all living beings on earth may they be well happy and peaceful On, on this continent may they be well, happy and peaceful country may they be well happy and peaceful my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well Happy and peaceful. Being in this metta development, let us focus on your breath to practice mindfulness of breathing meditation. Mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out. Pay full attention to your breath, inhalation and exhalation. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. When you are breathe in, you feel where air is touching. Might be end of uh, end of your nostril, upper lips, or your belly. Also, you feel what is happening with your lungs. Selected a place, keep your mind there, watch your breath, mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out. Be aware whether it is short breath or long breath, sometime we inhale a short breath, we exhale a long breath. Be aware whether it is a short breath or long breath. Pay attention for your whole process of your breath, inhalation and exhalation. Starting point of your breath, 
changing of your breath and departing of your breath. Pay full attention to your breath, inhalation and exhalation. The breath is very important for your life. Your life depending on your breath. But the breath is not your life. It is not yours. It is not yourself. It is not you. The breath is changing all the time. This is the nature of impermanence. Which is impermanent, that is full with sorrow which is impermanent and sorrowful. There is nothing to take as me, my, myself. Mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out. Focus on your whole breath process. Breathe in, breathe out. Take your time and practice mindfulness of breathing meditation. Whenever you notice your the mind has lost its meditation object, come back and start again. Mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out.
दुख पता दुख भया पता भया शोक पता शोक हंतु सबे पानी May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you very much. We can start our QA session. Yeah. When I take a walk in the park, I see people fishing. At work, I see people sitting in traps. Although I want to say something to them, I am unable to do so. Will this bring me some demerits? <clears throat> you can develop your demerits yourself if you have regarding desire greediness, anger, or ignorance. If you don't have any of these roots in your mind, no need to worry about demerits, accumulating demerits. There is no way to accumulate demerits if you don't have those thoughts in your mind. But this is this kind of objects create some unwholesome thoughts, will create some unwholesome thoughts in your mind. So we have to be careful these kind of situations. Because our mind pull with defilements. So any reason might be to gain desire, anger, or delusions. Even though if, if you are not engaging with that activities, you might have some thoughts about that and using, because of that thoughts, you might develop some unwholesome thoughts. If it's happening in this manner, in the, this way, then there might be opportunity to develop demerits. But in here, exactly what you said, I see people sitting in traps, although I wanted to say something to them. Wanted to say something to them mean already you have compassionate thoughts there. Things that you want to, to say for them mean means you have compassionate thoughts and you have idea killing is not wholesome things. You wanted to say to them killing is unwholesome things. As a human being, we are not supposed to kill any, any living being. We have to respect their life. That is the thoughts that you might have in your mind which is pulled with compassion, which is pulled with loving friendliness. This is not harmful. But unfortunately, you did not get that chance to say anything to them, particularly in this country. Don't say anything. Don't try to even say anything to them uh, because it will not easy moment for us to or us or them because people are pulled with ignorance uh, what kind of reaction 
would be there we don't know so better to keep your thoughts with yourself and same time you can develop your compassion loving friendliness thoughts toward them toward them mean particularly for those animals and that's why in Aditya Pariyay Sutta, everything on fire, this, this was the Buddha's uh, explanation, everything, everything on fire, you are not just your ear, even though uh, All your like aggregates, faculties are on fire. That's uh, we have to keep that things in my in our mind. Each and every object might be create some un, uh, fire in our in our mind. Yeah, this is. In Rupang, not, uh, not just Rupang, even any objects from outside which is coming through your aggregates, ear, nose, tongue, body, all these feelings might create some uh, unwholesome things in your mind regarding desire, anger or hatred, then you are on fire. So, we are not supposed to gain fire. Having that understand, having that thoughts in your mind, try to maintain your calmness, your tranquility, particularly in these kind of moments. Now, but uh, very especially these days we are where are we in all these societies burning with different kind of reasons people are fighting each other squirreling each other and killing each other so many unhappy uh, activities are happening there so Seeing those things, why we want to fire on, there is no reasons to develop our fire. Seeing all these things, we have to develop our equanimity. Oh, this is the way how ignorance and desire work on the society. Each and every actions, unwholesome actions are happening because ignorance or desire. Therefore, we have to use this opportunity to realize the truth. The truth is the nature of ignorance, the nature of desire. This is the nature. So, looking, I mean, if you are meeting this kind of uh, incidents in this society, wherever you are going, then that time, use that opportunity to develop your compassion and maintain your uh, equanimity, develop your equanimity to realize the nature, realize the behavior, uh, who don't develop their mind, who don't know the reality. This is the nature of them. Realizing that nature, realizing their weaknesses, develop compassion which is more important to take care of ourselves to protect our mind from external things
I think today we don't have any more question. That's it. Do we have any questions today? Um. We don't have any other questions today. Then we can continue our Dhamma discussions with Mangala Sutta. Uh, we finish. Second version, second stanza. Now today we can uh, third uh, third one we finish. Now we have the fourth one. Mata pitu patthanang putadara sa sangaho anakula cha kamanta etang mangala muttamang. To be well caring of mother or father, looking after spouse and children, to engage in harmless occupation this is a blessing supreme to be well caring of mother or father very important relationship that we have in our life parents and children in import uh, relationship uh, in Sigalovada Sutta particularly mentioned about uh, this relationship is the most important relationship. That's why uh, there is a simile. That relationship is equal to east, where sun is arising. When sun arises, that is the moment this whole world going to bloom. This whole world going to uh, start their works and it's become very active place not uh, one particular group of beings every and each beings ready to start their own work not just human beings in the same way as a children for their life parents are very important like likewise sun is most important for this world same as our parents are very important for our life uh, in mangala sutta buddha mentioned in here to be well caring of mother and father when you grew up and when you uh, able to do things then your obligation is to take care of them. In Sigalova the Sutta is directly mentioned when your parents need some physical support from you, that is your obligation to fulfill their requirements. In uh, Parabhava Sutta, among the uh, uh, facts that you lose in your humanity, human qualities, one is if you are not take care of your parents, that is one of uh, cause to decrease your humanity. In Vasala Sutta, you will become a uh, uh, unhumanistic person if you are not take care of your parents. Uh, in this manner, in different places, Buddha explained why we should develop this relationship very strongly. What is the purpose of that? To realize it, I would like to share a story. This happened a few years ago in Thailand. Uh, I heard it from my one of my teachers. This, this, this is the story. 
in the morning one day in the morning when the monks was uh, cleaning their outside uh, backyards compounds and they they heard a sound from uh, gate outside the wall of the temple and they started to search it and then finally they found a parcel a parcel covered by few things and then look like it is if there is a living things or living beings then they rush it rush it and took it and then open it when they were opening it they they knew there is a newborn baby there was a new newborn baby they took that baby but the monks not able to take care of this tiny mind it just born a baby so they made a announcement we found a baby if someone wanted to have that baby please come and take this baby no one appeared so monks decided to take care of this baby and then other supporters who are who came to the who who are visiting the temple they supports with provide providing some other facilities what baby needed somehow baby growing up then he started to go to kindergarten preschool not kindergarten preschool according to in sri lankan way we can say uh, montessori preschool when he started to go to preschool he met some other friends same age friends when they gathered together they started to talk about so many things in their life regarding their lifestyle and sometimes some friends come and show in some pencil or oh, this pencil i got from my mom and others say or oh, this uh, uh, cap i got from my father or this toy i got from, from my grandparents in this manner they had some things to say every and each time but this little fellow who is living in the temple who is growing with monks doesn't have anyone he has only monks high priest and other uh, novice monks and other monks that's it then he was so upset and he was so curious what have, what what about my parents what about my father what about my mother i don't have any of them somehow when he, one day when he finished his school came to the temple where he and uh, get into his room where he was and then he started to whisper something oh everyone in my classroom have their parents mother father and grandparents and also uncles aunts brothers and sisters i don't have anyone okay one day if my mother come if my father come i don't want to talk to them i am so angry with them he started to whisper in in this way and then somehow the high priest was crossing that area he uh, he heard these sounds and then he called this little one to come to his place and then ask a question not a question actually he asked few question a few questions do you like money this was the conversation what happened uh, what was there do you like money the monk was asking from the little fellow oh yes i like if someone ready to give in some money for you uh, how would be your reaction for them oh i'm ready to accept those money say say in thank you to them okay just think about if someone come in and giving you uh, $10 how would be your answer for them oh, i'm very happy then I, i would like to thank for them okay you ready to accept it yes if someone come in and giving you 100 dollars oh i'm very happy i would like to say more thanks more more uh, more words for uh, to say thank you for that person okay 
You are very happy with it. Yes. Just think about if someone come in and ready to give $500 for you. That boy is, uh, eyes became big and then uh, mouth was opening and he was so surprising. He was so surprising and then he said, oh, who is going to give $500 for me? Huh? That is kind of very exciting thing for that little one. Then, okay, it seems the 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 high priest said it seems you are very like to have some money from someone. If someone donating some money, you like to have those. Think about in this this way. Someone coming to you and asking, I mean, ready to give some money, asking part of your uh, finger. What do you think? Do you ready to sell your finger? Might be hundred dollars. And then that little one looking at his finger, turning here and there. Oh no. I don't want to give my finger. I want to keep my finger with me. No, I'm not agree with that deal. Just think about if someone asking you, giving thousand dollars a hand from you. What do you think? Do you like to give? Then that boy was turning here and there his hand and stated to monks, no, I don't want to give my hand. If I don't have my hand, how I, how I can do my writings? How I can tight my laces? How I can put my buttons on my shirts? How I can wear my clothes? I don't want to do that. Okay, very interesting. Before you said, if someone giving ready to give money for you, you like it. You you ready to have accept those things very happily. It is a kind of joyful things for you. But giving money, if someone asking part of your body, even pee, little tiny tiny piece of uh, piece from your body. You're not ready to donate that part, give that part to that person. Interesting. Think about Even though your mother or father uh, not in here, if they are not coming to see you, doesn't matter. This body you got from them, this body is unvaluable. No one can value it. You got this body from your mother and father. Dear friend, therefore, don't develop any angry thoughts to your parents anytime because of any reason. Be happy. The things that you got from them, no supposed to develop any angry thoughts. This story tell us why Buddha said to be well caring of mother and father? Because as we know, now we can understand ourselves, we got this life from our parents, particularly our body, got our parents. Blood circulated in body, I got from my mother. Breath, inhalation and exhalation, I got from my mother. At the beginning of my life, when I born to this world, I was not able to do anything. I was not able to talk. I was not able to take care of myself. With the help of my parents, I started to use my body parts. I started to stand. I stand, I stand up and I started to march, move in here and there, and I started to uh, practice, uh, I mean, living according to the culture. All these things, I develop my all skills through, with the help of my parents. That's why Buddha said. Brahmati Mata Pitaro, 
Mahabrahma is not someone living in another realms. Mahabrahma is your mother and father who create you, who help you to come to this world. Pubbhacharya uh, Tuchare, they are the first teachers who met us. Whatever the language we use, the language we learn from our parents. What kind of culture you belong, that culture came to you from your parents. What kind of behavior you develop, all the behaviors created by your parents. That's why Pubbhacharya, they are the first teachers. So if they are the creator, if they are the helper for us, if they are the, our first teachers, then definitely we should take care of them, our mother and father. That's why in Buddhist tradition, we, we use the word Gedara Budung Amma Tata. It means my, my Lord Buddha in my house, my father, my mother, not someone else. So that's why particularly I think, I don't think any other philosophy or any other religious leaders had explained many things about the parents. Uh, Buddha had, Buddha already made so many explanations regarding the qualities of parents, benefits of parents. So, uh, as a person who can think in some degrees, we should take care of our parents. Looking after spouse and children, that's the second thing. As a human being, we have to have these relationship, spouse and children, and to engage in harmless occupation, uh, that's another thing. Harmless occupation is very important because we have to practice right livelihood. These are blessings. As you, you, you don't forget, we are in the path practicing uh, noble eight pole path. We have a goal to achieve Nibbana. That is our goal. We are maintained, we are fulfilling these responsibilities to fulfill that goal, to achieve that goal. So, all these factors we apply to our day-to-day -day life to maintain that goal. These goals, these factors are directly connected with our main goal. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Uh, we can continue our discussions tomorrow. Uh, then it is time to wind down our program for today. Thank you very much for your participation. Uh, thank you very much for your participation. Now it is time to share merits. Uh, as a first part, we can think about deities and all other beings who are in other realms, may they rejoice these merits, rejoice in these merits, may they develop their happiness, peace, having that aspiration, share merits with deities, saying sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. People who are suffering from sicknesses, particularly with coronaviruses and any other sicknesses, by the power of these merits, May they be well, happy and peaceful. May they get recover soon, having that aspiration, make blessings upon them, saying, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. May you all be well, happy and peaceful. Whatever the wishes you have, all your wishes come true by the power of these merits. Having that aspiration, 
make a determination yourself saying sadhu 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 try to say by means of this meritorious deed may i never join with the foolish may i join always with the wise until the time attain nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the highest realms of existence to the lowest may all beings arisen in these realms with form and without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much good night to west how are